There's a young man who has really earned some accolades today. Tony Stewart started shotgun on the field, and uh, he was running and still is in the eighth position. That's a day's work. I'm going to tell you something else. He come in the pits a while ago and went out, so the crew worked well, but Tony Stewart has come from 42nd spot all the way up to eight. That's a drive, and you notice the quarter panel on that car has absolutely nothing on it. I can't believe it with this talent. The left side, that totally white car is Tony Stewart. Okay, Tony realizes they're there now. Watch this. When he tries to turn in, Hermie Sadler has nowhere to go with that inside wall there. Jeff Green gets hit hard. And there's your basic domino effect. That's yeah. it. Oh, and you can see Kenny Wallace. Good thing they put that new access road in there. He got through that wreck by going down the access road. I, I don't know what happened. I went in the corner and it got loose and, and I couldn't catch it. You know, I didn't want to oversteer to the right too much, but it came around slow. I just, I couldn't catch it. There was nothing I could do. What about more Bush series? <laughs> I can't wait. The more of these, the better. I mean, th this is what it's about right now. You couldn't have had a much more exciting debut. Well, uh, you know, we, we've run, we had a good run at Milwaukee the last time, and this is the first time we've run good on a super speedway. And Tony Stewart in his very first truck start qualified ninth with his old Silver Crown rival, Mike Bliss, alongside. That's your top ten, Benny. Stewart, for the record, is in the top ten. As the ten points truck, we haven't seen a lot of him tonight, but uh, he's kept his nose clean and learned a good bit about racing pickup trucks here this evening. A dozen guys went home. Look at Tony Stewart. I mean, who knows this track better than the, the Rushville Rocket Tony Stewart, who may sub, as you heard earlier tonight, on Speed Week. Tony Stewart making it in for Rocket Rodney Combs, still ailing somewhat from that tumble he took at Talladega.